You guys want to go to Little Woodrow? You guys want to go to Little Woodrow? I, he he goes goes I thought there. you were just there. He went there. to the turtle races. Oh, that's him. Like, yeah, you were just there. F*** you. I usually go, but like I go like once every couple months and it's kind of fun. <laughs> Best <laughs> like, service. Like, it's like that white trash. You go slumming it. Yeah. Best service you will find in San Antonio. Don't you f- pop Best that camera. I'm not. I'm, I'm just doing? putting right here. What are you doing? What, well, mixing up the, the tomato? You gotta Wait, you got to mix it? it? Yeah, don't shake it, though. Are you lying right now? No. Are you making us just do this for Cody? Yes. Are you Mexican? No, We're all going to open it to unsubscribe. Yeah. I Today got, we turn a can for an hour straight. I got everyone a Budweiser Chilada Clamato Picante. Why? I fucking finish this. I'm Yo, not. no, please. They're like, like you're going to have heart. If I f- myself and die because this has got clam juice in it, I swear to f- God, clam there's juice? clam juice in it. You didn't know that. You can't no. taste the fish. What in the baddie? Don't do that. If Wait, this you... kills you, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> are you allergic to shellfish? No, I just vomit and <laughs> just throw up and shit every time I eat seafood. That's called being allergic, baddie. Uh, oh, I'm allergic mm. to shellfish. Are you allergic to bee stings? No, I just swell up and almost uh, die every time a bee stings me. I'm it's good. Good. That is no, it's delicious. Awful. It's delicious. Uh, Yummy. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. I hate I don't. I hate I don't hate. <laughs> the Mexican doesn't hate the. I, I, I hate I don't hate. Say it. hi to Eli. It's racially ambiguous, baddie. That guy's fucking ridiculous, donut. That's harder to rhyme, but he's a really nice guy. Welcome to unsubscribe. Hey guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching the subscribe podcast. Um, make sure wherever you're listening or watching, whether it's on YouTube, uh, Castro, Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon, Podbean, Stitcher, or that's all of them. Please leave a comment, uh, uh, like it, thumbs up it, give it a rating of five stars, whatever you can do. It helps the podcast out immensely. And Donut and Eli will be very happy if you do that. And we want to make Donut and Eli happy today. Yeah. For five stars on everything. And a comment if there is possible because we need to be at the top. Don't it say something come. motivating? And that's where the you come. That is come subscribe. Uh. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the unsubscribe podcast. I'm joined today by Batty Streams, Eli Double Fat White Claw, and Brandon Herrera. Hi everyone, welcome to the unsubscribe podcast. We're joined by fucking <laughs> Brandon Barbera. We Donut operator and batty phone. streams. Jesus yeah, fl- can we get a volume warning for fl- <laughs> coming from batty? Fl- <laughs> fl- 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 That's your fucking son. <laughs> oh, dude. I love how he ended the one where batty wasn't here just by screaming. <laughs> Just loudly, loudly into the mic. <laughs> it's on brand. Like I, I want to be mad, but like I get it. <laughs> I get it. Oh, man, man. That, that is awful. How do you drink this I shit? I think they're good. It's like a, if you guys have never had one, it doesn't taste fishy. It's like a cold um, uh, Bloody Mary. Nothing says it's good when three people put it down and one continues. Three mm. alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Say no. Dude, she's kind of hot. All of us. Mm, bro, I don't if, know about that. If all alcohol tasted like that, I would look like a CrossFit model. I know. Oh man, if this is the baseline of <laughs> booze, start drinking just these. <laughs> you know, I'll get you shape Do you want to drink? I don't need to drink nah. today. Never mind. <laughs> this makes me want to bench press. God damn. <laughs> On this episode of Unsubscribe, no one talks. <laughs> just bored and miserable. On this episode of Sobriety. <laughs> oh, God. Like Welcome cute. to Sobriety. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. How you doing, guys? Well, last night I read a book. Yeah. Mm. And there's Whoa, Eli, he's 100% <laughs> sober, and Cody, he's also sober, and Batty is dead. <laughs> Welcome to unsubscribe. And Batty. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's just falling into uh, I would never go that way. That's boring. <laughs> We've talked about this extensively. Yeah. We've already got Guys, we got to the uh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds pool. The Ryan Reynolds pool. <laughs> Wait, Batty, what happened to that camera? Why are you asking me? <laughs> are you asking Batty about the camera, oh, Beli? Okay. I don't remember them ever going to sleep. Batty didn't hit record on it. Yeah, I did. Wait, are the other ones recording? Yep, they're recording. I don't know. Now it's recording. Record. <laughs> All right, we're good. Are we good? Recording. And we're recording. Everything recording. else is good. Okay. Okay. Gone through six, I'm not the camera guy. Sixty-eight episodes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck, this is going to be a slight delay on this camera right here. <laughs> Thanks to our boy back. <laughs> Why is this my fault? This is going to be the episode that you guys get canceled. <laughs> it's a little crooked. <laughs> you got to get that. You got to get that. Can you just straighten? 
You just straighten the crown out, yeah. There you go. I'm so glad they brought these back for you. Oh no. For you? Just for Brandon. Like, <laughs> no, you you start floating away as with soon as you it looks so good with your flowing hair. Oh my god, Cody runs into a it's fucking a drop tattoo. That's all I need. Cody runs Get into that. a telephone booth with a suit on, just comes out, just with that hat on. <laughs> <you're> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> supersonic speed. <laughs> you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Beep. <laughs> oh We've got to go to hyperspeed. <laughs> a child crying with a mom covering her ears. You know, what, oh. <laughs> What's hilarious is that if this is people's first time watching the podcast, they have no fucking clue what we're talking about. Yeah. It's show. better that way. It's, it's the podcast is just an extension of Cody's vlogs. It's a fever dream. <laughs> fever dreams are the best. But we talk about game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm talking about a game today. I got a game I want to talk about. We're gonna do it later because we're not gonna talk about video games in the first no five no, minutes. No, fuck gross. No. You're excited about a video game. I am. When the fuck has that happened? It's been a long time. Hmm. Well, no, it's not. We, I, we no last about episode. Digimon Survive. That was a fucking amazing game. Still having fun playing that. It's been two weeks. I haven't nice. had fun playing a game for two weeks in a very long time. And another game just came out. Also very fun. See, we got all the fucking video game stuff I don't give a fuck about. Me Brandon, either. first off, you never apologized for what you did to the You're community. Right. You never had a fucking I'm sorry video for getting canceled for okay. seven days. Well, not canceled, but banned. Banned, yeah. Why? Why is there no apology video? Because, Susan, and I want you to know this from the bottom of my heart, I'm not sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> I'll do it again. Murder. I'll do it again. Murder. Everyone else, when they have their seven, when they get banned, don't they do an apology video, or is that just canceled? Uh, so that's when I, you get I, canceled. I, I did do a video basically saying, like, I do acknowledge that what I did was <laughs> against the community. <laughs> However, I don't see anything fucking morally problematic about it. I, I get it. I'll take my pee pee slap. I accept that. As the shards of metal flying by your head, you're like, okay. That wasn't what they had a problem with. That was not what they had a problem with at all. Was it the Amazon cart, the easily con constructed beep? So, yeah, as soon as, like, so my YouTube rep, who's cool as shit, called me. And, We're like, building ammo. He, he <laughs> sends me a text. He goes, bro. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> like, yeah. He's like, yeah, you're getting a fucking strike. And I remember we were sitting at that dinner like, strike hasn't come in yet. Maybe they changed their... Oh, nope. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but they... Uh, no, because he's like, I would have fought this. Because, like, technically, since it's black powder, it's not a firearm. Yeah. So, legally speaking, it's not a firearm. So, it's not firearm construction. We didn't give a how-to, whatever. The gunpowder thing got a little out there, because I did teach people how to make gunpowder. But that's Googleable. You can find... Like, that's not, like, secret information. Yeah, there's this book that came out a while ago. Teaches you how to make all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, William Powell? Yeah. I, very familiar. That was my teenage years. I love this apology so far. <laughs> well, the well, first part. off, you can Google that word. Not that bad. You can, you, literally, this is all Googleable shit. It's not very fucking hard. I was doing this when I was fucking 15. It's a lot of Googleable shit. It's a miracle I'm alive. But uh, no, it was the part where he's like, yeah, you literally said that this is not a D DIY, but you showed your entire Amazon cart of how to do it, which is basically a link. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that pee pee stomp and it's fucking a, move on. It's a good pee pee stomp. I gotta see that video before it was, you yeah. know. I, I was proud of that video. We're gonna put it up somewhere else, I think, because he's like, live leaks. Don't try to fucking re-upload this. Like, <laughs> oh, he's, yeah. he's like, even even censored. He's like, for the love of fuck, <laughs> just, just don't. Okay, fair enough. Is there a new live leak? Because live leak's gone, right? We talked it's about gone. that once. Yeah. Is Rumble. there a new? Rumble is kind of like the Rumble free speech uh, YouTube alternative. Is it? Yeah. You know, like, uh, is it like, uh, well, I, there's is all it? sorts of sites that we probably shouldn't mention here that we okay. go to for that. Well, Reddit's the fucking big one. Reddit's thing. the biggest one, I would say. Yeah. Because they don't really censor anything. Well, for a while there, they like, didn't, they, they allowed like, like pedophile re subreddits and like, oh, that. yeah. Really weird it's not shit. Great. It's not but great. They, they let it's it bad. on their platform for like years and years before they finally cracked down and was like, you guys shouldn't be Yo. showing pictures of naked kids. Minorly attracted person. Oh, sorry. Excuse yeah. me. Uh, be respectful. Don't get Twitter canceled again. <laughs> I would love it. You got Twitter. I would just That's the like, Twitter cancel. I'd be like, what the fuck? I was like, about everything. Cody is like, uh. I was going to make a very detailed wood chipper <laughs> joke, and I realized that's probably not a good idea. No, not for the Aunt, uh, Ryan Reynolds pool. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chippy. <laughs> Adventures with Mr. Chippy. <laughs> Bing! 
It's like they animate. You know how they do the arms and the googly eyes on like. The I birds. see like straight out like <laughs> Steamboat Mickey, Mister Chippy, just on the boat next to Mickey, just fucking <laughs> grabbing the human and throwing. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> see. Exactly like that. That's exactly to a T what I was talking about. Oh, I said that to Flock if you would like. Please, please do. Oh, oh man, dude. Well, there was a good apology video. There you go. That's gonna be the thumbnail and title. We're Br- sorry. I just like I just sorry. picture this. Sorry. We're sorry, and <laughs> that's dude, what I mean. It's blow out all of our hearts. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, blow them up with big anime tears. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Everyone, yeah. do the face. Yeah. <laughs> Batty, do your face. <laughs> there we yeah, go. And where's the thumbnail? You're welcome. That was, uh... we, we're doing your job for you, dude. This fucking UFC. Okay, we don't talk about fighting in sports because most True. of us don't know what a ball is. Well, it's, it's video games, so <laughs> other than like, our no balls. Wait, wait. Fight. Did uh, we all played sports here though? Right? Yeah, yeah I, so what? I fought. Yeah, I did football, baseball, and soccer. Soccer, baseball. Uh, okay, football and baseball a little bit. And soccer when I was a kid, but. Oh, I'm rugby. Fuck. What did you um, do? Yeah, my dad tried. I got hit in the head in Little League with a fucking baseball. I quit that sport after that. I, football <laughs> never was my thing. I just do fighting. I do okay. like okay. martial arts and everything. You didn't like getting hit in the head. So, so you, you went and got hit I was in like, the head. This ball is hard. <laughs> dude, but the dude, fist. Dude, like, baseball, though, I'm like, I remember getting my fucking clock wiped a few times with like stray like ball in the outfield kind of shit. Like uh, cats. Yeah, he's just throwing. Dude, that, that's what like, like you, you can get fucking. Dude, our little league it was that I was six. Well, yeah, I wasn't talking little league necessarily. But well, mine was sixth grade, and I just remember because it was like all the sixth graders, and there was that one sixth grader that was the the kid that hit me when he was a pitcher. They made him a pitcher because the kid was. We were all like eighty pounds, 13, 12. 12. He got the testosterone a little early. Yeah, and it was like with the beard. Twelve year old. And yeah, exactly. He was like, I'm six eight, I'm twelve. <laughs> and oh God, he fucking, like that, that kid at the range. Yeah, and he just like Oh my God, dude. There was no way that kid was fourteen. Dude, some of those dudes. He was fourteen. Them oh. genetic monsters. And that that's what happened. Like the big dude, he fucking chucked the ball and I was like, Yeah, let's and the ball's a hero already. I was like, uh uh boom. <laughs> <laughs> and I got dropped. And they're like, uh, Eli sitting you're out still the wearing rest. the helmets with like the side. No. Right. Oh. oh, I got just fucking domed. Oh, so this is like the Laredo League. But this you didn't was wear the- helmets? <laughs> No, you had the small ones back back in the <laughs> right. '90s. We didn't have. I finally touched. Yeah, you her. didn't have the full face. You're right. Yeah, you're right. this you're is right. full face, but you had like the ear. No, right? not in the '90s. What? Okay. No. '90s yeah, is yeah, very not back, yeah. Not back then, what dude. What the fuck is the that's helmet a, for that, then? That's, that's where the ball's coming from. This it's is not coming cool. from up top. They learned that later. <laughs> that's a 2000s era. Not, <laughs> not that you were design shit that like pisses me off. Like, what? Where the fuck? That's the first time I broke my nose was baseball. It was the same thing. A pitcher hit me right in the fucking How many times have you broken your nose? Three times. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I meant two, I think. Yeah, but like... I broke my nose once. I was fucking kid. I've, dude, never, I've never broken my nose that I know. Cody, punch him. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, both of us. Crack. <laughs> and it doesn't mean, like, it, it stays it's straight. straight. It's not so bad. No, but it hurts. <laughs> but I'm shooting blood. I don't. But yeah, that's the fucking sports. I fucking sucked at. I was like, I can fight and I can play video games. This is my life. And video games couldn't make money back in the day <laughs> at all. But this UFC shit and the, they had the heavyweight championship uh, for boxing and then the UFC fight. And you guys watch sports. Ro- Luke is your friends. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I've met him during Luke. the racing thing. Yeah, we oh, met. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, out in yeah. Vegas. I met Luke. Super nice dude. Like, fuck, it's super yeah. cool, yeah. dude. Yeah, we've been friends with Luke Rockhold for about two years now. He, you, he, you have uh, before I was. Like, because you went down to that thing in Miami, I think. And got yeah. kicked, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I got, he kicked you? I got, yeah, I got kicked. In, uh, Luke didn't kick me. It was oh. um, Tyrone, Tyrone Spong, I think was his name, uh, world champion kickboxer. Oh. He kicked, I let him kick me in the leg three times. Yeah, I, was, I couldn't I walk. That. Yeah, I couldn't walk for a fucking week. Oh, See, but, um, world he champ- had that fucking John Wayne, like my balls are sticking to my thigh. Walk for like a good minute. It was like a month. I, I was having trouble with that. Which when you watch when you watch leg kicks on like UFC fights and they just shake it off, it's like nah, you don't know how that feels if you've never gotten a well, good shin kick to the leg. Made of fucking 
on Creed. That's true. And they too. get they do that all the also, time. Yeah. You and like also all of the steroids that they inject, it's all scar tissue on their thighs. So, like, thighs and ass, like, just nothing but scar. I just like Cody was like, who do I want kicked in the leg by? World champion. Who do I want kicked in the leg by? Oh, Kickboxer. Yeah, what okay. the fuck? <laughs> okay, so English Luke. motherfucker, do, who do you I speak want it? Kicked in the leg by, right? That's the who do I want to get? Well, speaking yeah, of yeah, yeah. Luke, we'll show that up. GED over here. GED over here. Okay. I, have, I got my my degree in Iraq. <laughs> Sorry, I was fighting for your fucking freedom, Brandon Herrera. <laughs> left the room so fucking quick. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. To be fair. To be, to be fair. fair. Luke and then fucking Chuck Liddell were in sitting there going, Cody, get kicked by him, get kicked by him. And I'm like, okay. I so, thought it was Luke who kicked you, though. No, Luke Peer kicked, pressure. Luke kicked, um, what's his name that works oh, for Leviathan? Yeah, uh, kicked, him in, liver. kicked him in the liver. Yeah, the that's oh, it. Yeah, that. He kicked one of the cameramen in he the liver. The dude up. That was mean spirited. It was kind of mean spirited <laughs> because Luke, <laughs> Luke said, all right, man, hold your hands up. I'm going to get you in the leg. And he, he was just like, okay, whatever. And then Luke kicked him in the liver. It was a gentle kick, but, you know, gentle to the liver still like hurts like a motherfucker. We were just talking about before, like with uh, anyone. When we were going on the the pig hunt, like where we were doing the stabbing the piggies, mm -hmm. a little friendly fire, I think. But <laughs> we uh, we were down in Florida with that with Chuck Liddell. It's a joke because he was a cop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I thought you were. I thought somebody got he, stabbed. Him. I was like, he, I didn't he, hear no, this. He no, did no. stab me in the liver on accident. But did I? No. Wait, what, what, <laughs> stab? Like, yeah, Brian. I think you. I thought it was. I don't remember this. Would have been brought up about stabbing your friend accident. That's what I was like. <laughs> what? Did something happen we didn't talk about? Who got stabbed in the liver? Hold up. Pause. No, but uh, Chuck was like demonstrating the difference. Like we were all just kind of like fucked up around that like kind of like lodge bar or whatever, and he's mm -hmm. demonstrating the difference between like a regular hit and like a liver hit and he just kind of has that very chuck way of going about it like, all right so, so. <clears throat> this is this is just like an old watch for me. <laughs> hits hits me in like the fucking ab i'm like okay yeah there's like maybe like a half power third power hit like nothing crazy like, all right so, so. this is uh <laughs> I love he's a bulldog. He is. He is. He is. Man, yeah, oh yeah. Life. Yeah. I, he's been he's punched like, in the face thousands of times. There's, it doesn't work up here anymore. The fu UFC has turned him into a human pug. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Chuck. He's a, Chuck, Chuck is seriously. Like, please don't a, kill us. He's, he's the nicest awesome, guy. He's an awesome Chuck is awesome. To hang out with, but he's, he's just really funny. Just like his mannerisms are, are entertaining. But he just. All right, so. This, this, is, <laughs> this is a liver hit. Hits me in the same goddamn spot. I don't know, like at a slightly just a different slight angle. Upwards though. Yeah, and just like, oh, I'm like, forty, forty. He just hit me in the liver. <laughs> it's the hardest working liver in the galaxy. And now Chuck Liddell just punched me in it. <laughs> Marty, Marty, I'm dying. Like I felt like all the toxins in my liver suddenly flooded my bloodstream. Oh. I got randomly super fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture in the middle of a. We need to sure this is my blood hurts. <laughs> my blood hurts. <laughs> I just like the idea of getting punched in the liver and it's just us. It's like, Pur, uh, oh, I'm drunk. I'm drunk again. <laughs> Fuck you. Pur. You're hot. <laughs> Why are you hitting on me all the time? <laughs> you want 69 standing up? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want a 69 standing up. logistics <laughs> so dangerous. I'm going to duck first. Why are you floating? <laughs> <laughs> Your body rotates. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck in capsule coming in for docking. Chuck's like, works every time. <laughs> it works every time. No, it's no, don't do that. Wait, who's super don't do that. Is that? Put yourself in the liver, Brandon. No. <laughs> I need a buzz. <laughs> Sup, bitches? Push bull shot, like. Oh, oh. oh. this is rad. <laughs> Man, I really want to save eighty dollars at brunch today. <laughs> Our livers are just shooting out toxins. <laughs> After a while, you're like, I think I depleted the gas tank. Uh, <laughs> Better retox. <laughs> God, retox. <laughs> That's a new word. No, you, you don't my, have to detox if you just retox. My liver's on empty. <laughs> <laughs> it looks healthy. That's right. bad. You are 28, and your liver is entirely scar tissue. How did you do it? Well, you see, I had this. <laughs> <laughs> the bruise. <laughs> The hat man that you were talking about. Oh my god. So have you guys ever gone down the rabbit hole of seeing like these fucking Benadryl addicts? Wait, there's a there's thing a Benadryl, Benadryl addict there addiction? A, there is a Reddit, a subreddit for uh people who just fucking like just down Benadryl all the fucking time.
in time. And hey, they- I love oh, just real quick. Fucking the subreddits. Have you been to the meth? Reddit where they just smoke re- no, meth. Not been to the fucking meth Reddit. <laughs> they just smoke meth. <laughs> Reddit. Just, it's oh, a oh, subreddit oh. of them hitting meth and be like, fuck yeah, bro. Uh, that's that's, it. that's the just... Hunter Biden one, right? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I just like there's Reddit that people. Crack. <laughs> I didn't know there's a Benadryl Reddit. <laughs> no, there, so there seriously is, and like I, I heard about this like on the PKA podcast. They talked about it, so I went down this rabbit trail because. Uh, <laughs> Like, I have a buddy who just, like, has severe allergies, so he just takes Benadryl all the time. They're taking, like, 700 milligrams of Benadryl. And How much is, like, a normal them. pill of Benadryl? I like, don't know. five or 25 or something small? They're, they're, like, taking full packs of Benadryl, right? <laughs> Holy fuck. But they have these shared hallucinations, because Benadryl high doesn't sound fun at all. Like, it sounds like the worst fucking experience you could ever have. Like, they're, they're, they have a shared hallucination of spiders and something called the Hat Man, <laughs> which is a dark... <laughs> figure that stands in doorways and shit with like a fucking silhouette of a hat that they've all seen and it's it's weird as fuck. What does that do to the inside of your body? It destroys it. That that one guy was talking about oh, remember the one we were looking at? He was like and like 40% of my liver doesn't work and because like like he's literally retarded now. Like literally retarded. Because like his brain doesn't fucking work and his liver doesn't fucking work and like he's just like this shit will like destroy your body and you will be freaked the fuck out the entire time you're Yay! It sounds terrible, but people fucking do it. Don't, don't. If there's a drug that legally makes you legally retarded, don't do it. People are still gonna do it. Yeah, crocodile. People do crocodile, even oh, like yo, ninety percent of people die yeah. from this. Do not talk shit about my crocodile. <laughs> crocodile best drug ever. Isn't that, isn't that shit that like rots your fucking body open, yeah, dude? Yeah, they, you can see people's bones that, and shit. They like scale, like their skin starts dying on their body. Good. Yeah. Like. Good. Self correcting. Self correcting. Yeah. yeah it's native correcting. Gasoline, uh, match heads, and something else. Yeah, it's like a bunch of poor what? poor Russians got together Literally, and some shit in a bucket. And, and then the you inject it. And that's what's like, that is the ingredient list. And you're like, cool, now it's I'm going to inject not it. It's as harmful as our opiate addiction. <laughs> like, yeah, if, you saw, <laughs> if you saw it was in meth, too, you'd be like, holy fuck, dude. What, what is it? So, well, meth is just the compound, like methamphetamine. Like, what the fuck is in that? Like on the street, I guess. I think one of the most dangerous Without things in it. people how to make math. No, I, well, okay. Well, yeah, we won't get too deep into it. But I think one of the most dangerous things they so put into So here's our Amazon cart. So five like, milligrams of <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm still not It's uh, lithium strips from batteries. That's like yeah, one yeah, of yeah, the I grossest things in it. And The second yeah. I hear that, it's like, dude, this is supposed to be injected I, I don't want to get this demonetized. So I'm not going to go into the ingredients of yeah, that. But I will tell you. If you're, if you're driving by the trailer park and you smell cat piss, it's probably not cat piss. <laughs> Meth Wait, smells like real? cat piss. Yeah. It's ammonia. Yeah. I would have never known that. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing like if you shoot. Uh, what, what the it, fuck? Uh, what is that? M995? Like just the uh, the AR ammo? Like it smells like fucking ammonia. Like you get that cat piss smell in your fucking. Who said ass. that the other day? And we're like, holy fuck. Yeah, you're right. Was it John? Oh, John. John John's was like, that. yeah, we were at the range and John's like, dad, it smells like cat pee. And I never realized that. You're like, no, no, like, I don't know what it is. And I'm like, no, he's actually right. Like, because we were shooting that M16A1. That yeah. No shit. Yeah, you get that ammonia smell. I don't feel like I've ever smelled that shooting before. Or maybe I just don't. You might have. Maybe I just know the, the gun just took your uh, sensitivity. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just maybe I'm just used to it from shooting so fucking much. It just that didn't occur to me. I'm not used to shooting good ammo, so I'm not used to smelling it at all. Yeah, I fair. Guess. I know when he said M995, I was like, God, that shit's that's, so that's, expensive yeah, in Tarkov. It's unreal expensive. I love that your guys is real. <laughs> M8, M8, M855, maybe. It's, that's what I'm thinking of. Not M995. Yeah, that's that's like your fucking tungsten or whatever tips or your fucking penetrating shit. I've got like a stack of that shit that I'm just like kind of like, all right, that's my rainy day career. <laughs> <laughs> we don't touch that ammo. Your A56 is like your your fucking your good compared to like your green tip. I mean, those mimosas I actually feel. I'm not been drinking much, and I'm like those. <laughs> this <laughs> this man, man. We were good. yeah. I'm like man, this Finish single one. I'm here. No, I'm, I'm, you, I'm tapping out on this because it's making me have to poop. So yeah, tomato has that effect on people. You, you need to take a breeder. I'm not, no, dude. I'm Mid-podcast good. Podcast I'm not going to know. Dude, no, fucking prairie. Are you prairie dogging? No. <laughs> you prairie are you prairie dogging, Cody? Know. I'll let you little, know little when turtle, I got a poop. Showing up. Turtle shelling don't, right dude, now, bro. Talk about my turtle, okay? I just picture Speaking a little turtles. Cody head popping out. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> my ass. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, I got to go. <laughs> No, stop it. <laughs> you like, what the stop. fuck? I don't you know, know my brain. Why? What is wrong with you? Why are you like... Why have you seen you, my son? Why are you the way you are? 
Have you seen my son? That's genetic. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, Instagram feed, and it's pretty. Yeah, see, it's genetic. Are you on the Benadryl again, Eli? Oh, God. The hat like, man the here hat to get you. Corner. <laughs> I don't know when Sav records me anymore. That's why when I sat down that one time, the story I just did, I was like, do you shit out your poop or poop out your shit? <laughs> like, I just sat down and asked her that, and she was filming me. <laughs> she burst into tears. <laughs> why is he like this? <laughs> she was like, what the fuck, man? I was like, How do you shit you out your poop or do you poop out your shit? She's like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> She's like, he pays for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless his little heart. God Don't damn. I don't know how he does it, but it does. He puts on a dress. That's how he does it. One <laughs> <laughs> of my many ways. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so we had a really good talk about the UFC. We just were like, Luke, <laughs> we're friends. Hey, Have you ever fucking got kicked so in the goddamn hard. liver before? No, that, that was Tyrant. Uh, see, I think you were the only one who watched the whole fight. Oh, dude, that fucking the Edwards versus, oh, I know what you're talking about. Don't look at me. Don't even look at me when you're so, thinking, because so I, I didn't watch any. I haven't seen a clip. Oh, I, I saw what we watched that brunch. We walked, we, we, we went to the bar, and like they were, they had like the, the knockoff UFC up, which is fucking bullshit. It was, like, was it Bellator was Pride or whatever? ESPN, so it was something. Yeah. Whatever. I'm like, I'm like, oh, cool. The fights are on. Wait a minute. Like, <laughs> this, this isn't is the great value. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the just, goodwill it's version. Kids schoolyard and a couple kids bullying each other. Like, okay, but back to the fights. The so what? Usman versus Edwards. Usman is the champion. He was just Usman? a yeah Usman. He was about to get the longest winning streak ever in UFC history. He is the Walter weight champion. How many weight classes are there? Fucking not as many as boxing. Ten million. I think four. Right? No. Uh, at least. Was there like Bantam, a feather, light, light? feather, light, fly? There's a phantom? Bantam. Bantam. Uh, what does that mean? What? Light, light. Flyweight, then Bantam. It should be phantom weight, though. That, that, that sounds way cooler. <laughs> it's probably like eight weight classes, probably in UFC. That's so many what? weight classes. Boxing what? has like fucking 20. Every five pounds, there's like a new weight class in boxing. But when you're at that degree, it makes sense because you're like the top athlete because people drop to whatever. Mm -hmm. So Usman. Versus Edwards. Edwards is a hey. fucking broke ass kid that came from nothing. Yeah. And that's it. Like, it, he's on a win streak. Uh, f phenomenal fighter from the UK, but poor shit, grew up poor shit, got in trouble, then kept just like, I gotta fight, gotta do this. This is my life. I'm like, no big, finally just got like a reality. Some rich kid put him in his fucking place. Yes. And so he's <laughs> like, I'm here. And that's the thing. So he was like, I'm here finally. He takes down Usman in the first round. Usman's never been taken down. Dude, it was 20. It was like 20 0 for both of them. It was absolutely fucking. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. 20, both of them are like fucking. Yeah, both 20 -0, of them. 20 19 0 or something. Yeah. No shit. Oh, oh, oh. So those are the losses. So Uz, uh, Usman and then that. Yeah. So what had happened, what had happened was these guys are on both of them long ass win streaks going into this fight. Usman's the champion. Fucking Walter Waite. PV, pound for pound, best. He gets taken down. Never in his career has been taken down. And Usman gets pissed because he loses the first round and beats the fuck out of Edwards for the next four rounds. Round five, just everyone's and the, the judges is best. Joe Rogan, everyone's like, well, he's just giving up. His corner, his corner says the best thing ever. Stop feeling fucking sorry for yourself. <laughs> it was like what he told Edwards. And Edwards was like, huh. <sighs> one minute left in the last round. <laughs> Fake, foom, fucking Usman. What do you, you got to describe it. There's so, audio. Okay, I guess. You can't uh, just wiggle so your head around. Edward, Edwards throws a straight oh, God, left. So YouTube is the only thing that matters. Exactly. Edwards throws a left. He's a straight left. He's a southpaw fighter. Usman pats it and slips to the right. Usman throws a kick. Didn't see that kick coming. One minute remaining. Usman is fucking dominating. There is, he just has to let it ride, and he could have won the match. One minute remaining, he gets knocked the fuck out no shit. on one kick. One kick drops him. Fucking Joe Rogan. And the, the commentator, Joe Rogan, is like, yeah, he's just giving up. What the fuck just happened? Like, <laughs> you see it. Everyone's face is like, what the fuck? World champion, just like that. And Usman is just on the ground like. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it was the biggest upset ever, and Edwards is like, I fucking told you. I fucking told you. I came for fucking nothing. He's like, what the fuck? Usman's just like, I just lost the world's longest win streak. 
the That's pound for pound championship. Gone. Everything gone and I just had he literally at the last minute uh, he could have been like he could wait what's up the millions up? he could have walked oh. around for a minute because every round was him other than the first every round he would have been good I was like and watching that unfold and everyone was like it's it's gonna go down in UFC history as like the biggest turnaround for a fight because it was the one minute remaining wham drops the world champion in the kick and you see his face like I just won this fight. <laughs> like, I'm the fucking world champ now. Awesome. It's so fucking dope. So fucking dope. I don't care. I know. <laughs> he played that song. Really? Oh, That's, shit. That was his walkout song. Nah, that's pretty and cool. then right. he did, that was his speech like was fucking guy, Rocky. Yeah, his winning song was Rocky. Everything was Rocky for oh, it. Because he was the fucking underdog. Rocky was the original movie that got me in the gym when I was in like middle school. Right. I was just like, oh, this is fucking dope. And I didn't realize like Sylvester Stallone and like, what is it, 1976, 1977? Dude, that was, oh my God, that story is fucking phenomenal. It's an amazing story, but like, you don't realize like, he's not jacked at all no it was rocky too when he made money then steroids were yeah, a thing. yeah exactly because like you look at it you're like oh wow like i've seen better physiques than that in like a high school gym like it's me do you know no, the sylvester I, I did it you know sylvester do you know rocky first do you know the story yeah, behind that both of you uh, but behind, i've seen the movie. the movie yeah behind the movie no, i don't know no. he sold his dog in order to get that made Oh. Like that dog in the movie, he sold it. He bought it back afterwards. Because he was, shopped it around. Yes, and no one bought it. Like not a fucking soul. And he was like, because he wrote the movie. Oh, I didn't know. Like that. he didn't just act in it. Like he was a nobody. Fucking wrote the movie. But his demand was he acted in it. Yep. He's like, I want to be Rocky, hmm. and nobody fucking bought it. So he like he went around. Like it, it was actually it was really fucking cool. One of the most dope. And that's what cattle. That was the catalyst because he won a Grammy or not a Grammy, a fucking Oscar. Oscar I guess. Yeah, for that. That was his first movie out the gate. He won a fucking Oscar for that's how he that was the catalyst to his career. Didn't, that uh, dude was poor Rambo, as shit. First Blood and then a bunch of shitty movies after that. Oh, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Demolition Man is one of the greatest movies of all time. Demolition Man. <laughs> Watch that so long. It's <laughs> so fucking good. You can't even the cuss. Expendables are like the fucking potato chips of movies where you're like, I know this is bad, but I'm enjoying it's like, it. Fuck so it. There's explosions. <laughs> it, it doesn't need to be Terry good. Terry Crews in a hallway with an AA-12. Like all you need in life. <laughs> just boom, boom, just I need an AA-12. <laughs> Why do I not? Deleting life. Why don't you have one? It's the stupidest a, looking gun in the world. I, I love it. Gonna have one, but the pro, the, the it's like when a child draws a gun. They, oh yeah. They got fucking rated. Like they were, they were re-releasing the AA-12, and the ATF fucked that all up for everybody. Like every one of them in existence got rounded up. And really? Destroyed. Yeah. So there's no AA-12s. I think for like sale <laughs> foreign governments, which is so fucked up. It's like okay, so we can't have them here, but fucking Saudi Arabia can have all they want. Yeah. No, they they the, the ATF seriously fucked. Yeah, fucked them over on that pretty hard. I didn't even know about that. I like our podcast direction. <laughs> it's like a Charlie Day you map. Shit, your boobs are boobs. Your shit. Well, the ATF is uh, down on. Here's learning about the AA-12 to civilian sales. You guys hear about that new Dragon Ball? <laughs> Dragon Ball show? It's our podcast in a nutshell. It's a, it's a fever dream. Yeah. Oh my fucking god! About, well, yeah. Cody, what have you been up to? Oh yeah, I was gonna. Uh, yeah, thank you. Put that back on the Burger King. <laughs> what does he get up to? Well, he's uh, now banned from American Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them that. Cody's uh, wearing a Burger King crown. I went out with Demolition Ranch the other night. That was pretty cool. And oh. um, he had his buddy. You guys hear Flair? Flair? Yeah, yeah, Flair. Flair. He does like Flair. fishing. Yeah, fishing content. We were there, Cody. Content. Yeah, for the podcast, Eli. I know. I know. I'm just explain to you. I know you Why guys you like were there, this? but because. I, well, you I don't know with okay. his alcoholism. You guys went home, and I went out with <laughs> Flair. <laughs> I was like, maybe Cody doesn't remember Punch we were the there. Punch him in the face. I wasn't drunk yet. <laughs> I was drunk when I lost the frog in the Uber. But that was my Okay, so wait, wait, hold on. Ever. Hold on. What? Okay, now I'm confused. I still don't know about this. <laughs> so I go with Flair. And, and Demolition Ranch, and there's only one bar open in Bernie past 8 p.m., and it's pretty much illegal. Uh, that you can smoke cigarettes in there, like the walls or that that wood paneling you saw in your grandparents' house back back in the day. It was just old, it was made of cinder blocks. So we have some beers, and then we're walking out. <laughs> you got the text rolled up. Yep, I got it. 
What, what are the? Te- I don't remember sending you text. So, <laughs> Let's Joey read them. Sent me a text at fucking midnight that says, "I found a frog in an Uber." <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, it's no, literally no, no, you holding hold hold a frog. Hold, hold on. I found the frog outside the Uber. Oh, so you brought it to the Uber? I brought. <laughs> I want. Okay, so in my mind, I was like, I bet Heather would like this frog. And so I grabbed a frog off the ground and got in an Uber. No, you didn't say, I found a frog in an Uber. You said, I found frog in Uber. (laughs) (laughs) And it's just him just holding a frog in an Uber. Can you screenshot that? We're going to need that. We're going to need that. (laughs) I said, what the fuck? That's awesome. He said, him hungry. (laughs) I said, this may have been the best random text I've ever received. Next fucking photo is empty hand. Empty hand, he goes, I have no idea where he went. I said, oh shit, oh fuck. I get a video that is just frantically fucking looking for a frog with a flashlight on in the back of a fucking Uber. What is the driver thing? I didn't know. <laughs> I said, he just texted me, he's, bro. With the fucking video, I said, rip my N-word frog. It's like, dude, he gone. I'm like, I'm looking at my phone at this point. I'm like, it has been 40 minutes we've had this conversation. I'm like, how long is this fucking Uber? <laughs> to be fair, it was the slowest driver in the entire world. I'm Did talking you about get 10, Uber back 10. to your house from. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long ass fucking ride, dude. And he was driving 10 under the speed from limit. Bernie? Yeah. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Yeah, it was it was a fucking terrible ride. So it was so long. The story is so much I, better with the Burger King crowd. So <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was. I just love you have an so adventure frog the, on your tattoo, yeah, and you right. just gave a fucking frog an adventure. <laughs> well, You're like, like, hi frog, come with me to new part of town. And <laughs> 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 you drove. Then you like, fuck you, frog. You live on own now in Uber. <laughs> I was imagining fucking Abdul sitting here in like the Uber, like driving back to his like wife and kids. And just <laughs> 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 fucking swerves and dies. I just picture sure fucking, fucking frog in an Uber. Okay, so no, I, I sent you that last message. Like I lost, I lost him, and then we were still like fucking twenty oh, minutes from the house. The saga? Well, I fell asleep. And then, <laughs> <laughs> so we fall, well, okay, so no, no, he was like I couldn't find him, so I'm sitting there, and this guy's driving slow as shit. Oh my god! And so I'm just like. <laughs> we, we get to my house and he's like sir and I, I'm like oh oh we're at my house and I get out and he drives off and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> sir sir my frog <laughs> so he he's got a little friend now <laughs> I, just, I just picture the frog's life is like man this is a dope ass spot I got some good ass <laughs> flies yeah I mean it was like his hand just grabs the frog the what the fuck God. where am I going <laughs> I can't wait to bring these berries back to my family, my wife and children. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking abducted. And then you're looking at Cody's face this close. <laughs> you are my new friend. Take picture for other friends. Frog, angle? she's like, help me. <laughs> Master has fallen asleep. Must escape. <laughs> like jumping away. That frog is under duress. <laughs> <laughs> he was happy. I didn't even get to name him. Because you fell asleep. Frog. Is that the name of the episode? <laughs> you fell asleep. That's why you couldn't name your frog. But I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, he's going to so step on this fucking frog. That was that's the actual adventure happen, frog. But, no, no, However, that's not you're going to fucking call an Uber. Like he's going to have like a little pouch there with like his uh, little sidekick frog with sunglasses or whatever. You're like, oh, fuck. Now you, like, do you know how this actually works? That guy went to bed that morning, walked out to his car at 3 p.m., was like, no, why does my car smell like shit? (laughs) And and he is looking looking through his fucking car to find out what smells like asshole because it is sitting in the sun. It's it's 110 degrees, this frog is in the hottest part of Texas. Like, this dog is is already, like, fucking dry. It's just like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, little little guy. I'm really sorry, sorry little one. <laughs> so sorry, little one. Uh, you know what's better than that, though? Fucking out of regs. Oh, that, <laughs> oh my God, Brandon, with that fucking transition, Batty, go, go. 
Your colors look the best right now. I mean, I don't know. His match the podcast more. I like Cody's colors. Cody's colors are my favorite. But Batty has the orange. Hey, guys, out of regs. Buy it. Cody's (laughs) Cody's colors or colors? This is not not a good time for that joke during an ad read. (laughs) (laughs) I agree to disagree. (laughs) Out of regs gives you wings. (laughs) (laughs) Use the code cum 20. Code unsub, code un twenty, just co- un twenty unsub. Yeah. Use code, code twenty. 20. Uh oh, why'd they beep that word and say twenty in it? Out of regs. <laughs> but legit though, like we were just talking about this before the podcast. Like I just bought a shitload of out of regs. I know. It's, it's like it's it's. Good I need shit. more body wash. I'm out. You know, mm. <laughs> I get a text from the other guys and like Brandon ordered a bunch of out of regs. It's just super weird that they know because I didn't. I intentionally didn't use my first name. Use your email. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the AK guy. <laughs> yeah, the email. I'm like, fuck. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So Brandon bought a bunch, and like, we he knows. We'll just give it to him, right? And I was like, yes. I don't know what why he didn't use the discount code either. Uh, but my text back was like, he's a good friend. <laughs> Brandon's Meanwhile, story here. You, you know what I'm doing yeah. at the moment, and you're like. Oh, he's, he's drunk. drunk. Well, literally drunk in the city. So, um, yeah, no. Hair he, paste neat. <laughs> Must <laughs> get. Mm, hair, hair frizzy. Neat out rig. <laughs> Brandon Horngate. <laughs> Brandon Horngate. <laughs> Horngate get cured by out of rig. We're going to charge this Horngate. <laughs> that would be the new discount cord. Just, <laughs> Me, Horngy. Yeah. That's the new shirt. <gasps> we need a Dune one, too. Dude, a Horngy a Dune, Dune one? Shirt? Oh. Dude, if we have the Dune monster, we're just Horngy in front. <laughs> uh, fucking drawtism. Did you like the worm with the eyes? <gasps> oh, that's perfect. It. Yep. Yeah. That's Batty's good. already on. <laughs> yeah. D-O-O-N. That's going to be, because we were talking about doing monthly shirts, like doing yeah. a shirt run for a month, stopping, because we, we have we to. Have so much that we can do every month. I only want like 30% right if, Done. Okay, okay. Done. Done and done. If I die, banana. Because yeah. that's what everyone wants also. That was amazing. Yeah, that was Thank still, you. everyone's like, we need that shirt. You, and you're like, that's a fucking salute, Eli. I was like, what? <laughs> like, How did that? <laughs> if I die, I die salute. Banana. And he's like, banana? I was like, what do you, what do you, what Br- Batty, Did first you off, that's your, stroke? Batty, not first you, off, you. that was your fucking, I was yeah, like, hey, if pot. I die, but like, no, what? no, no, no. Podcast that won everyone. Batty's like, I fucking ordered this fucking meds. It came from fucking Saudi Arabia. I don't know if it's gonna kill me. What's going on? Well, I don't know. If I die, blah. I was like, if okay, I die, banana. salute. Yeah, if I do, salute. And then I reply, so podcast at one question mark. I was dead already. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> I'm like, did, did Batty mean to text us this entire exchange? It's like Cody right there. He didn't even remember. The frog story. <laughs> <laughs> happy. Yes. We live very busy lives. <coughs> that last round of man Moses was a fucking mistake. I can already tell the direction of this podcast is derailed so fucking So far. quick. I love it. It's great. Oh, and then Batty oh. wearing a cum shirt to the very nice Italia restaurant. <laughs> true. This is our merch. It's weird because we didn't fucking notice it till like an hour in. I don't see walking back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, that's and I saw every, everybody else in the corner of my eye. <laughs> All of the families trying to enjoy their Sunday after church. Yeah. <laughs> just the fucking cum. giant cum and doom. Fun. The giant billboard for cum. <laughs> just for doom. Fun. It's like, you know, most people don't know what doom is, so they're just like, that guy has cum on his shirt. And this is a nice restaurant, that dude. That's what I love cum. the most. It's written on it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, God, we are fucking, we are deviants, and this is what we do. We, we do not belong to Bernie. No, God, no. We don't belong most places. <laughs> this house is what we do. <laughs> I mean, we <laughs> we basically it. hell from the temperature, so. <laughs> I know. I am about that earlier today. I'm like, man, have you ever realized that? You didn't turn on the fan? Oh, I did. You piece of shit. That's I was like, man, it's extra warm. <laughs> I'm sitting here doing this. I was like, it is extra warm in this house right now. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, it's been a while since like I've had that fucking loud ass table next to me that I can't fucking stand, and then I realize like, oh, fuck, I'm the loud ass table. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. 
You guys do a it's really good job when Ryden's around, though, because Ryden, you can tell how loud we are based off He's of... He's canary in the coal mine. Yeah. <laughs> when Ryden hides under the table, we need to shut up. Yeah. The canary in the sound mine. <laughs> it was so funny at your, your house the other night. He'd, he, we were we were laughing a little bit too loud and riding like the old man. He's like banging, banging on the wall. Stop! Oh. We had be, oh. so we had like an actual get together at the house. I could. I was late to it. I, I actually <laughs> was to late to my own house because I was getting booze for everyone, and I was cooking. I was fucking doing everything. I took care of everyone. Yeah, but it was late. Very good host. Just a late one. Just the late host. I was a late host. I like walked down Savannah's like, text me when they're close. It's like, done and done, babe. We all show up. <laughs> everyone shows up. No text from me. I was like, sorry, babe. I'm fucked up. But right and we're uh, all drinking. After you got home. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> For clarification. Clarification. <laughs> we're all laughing, having fun. And you hear like all the time. And I'm like, what? Oh, that's Ryden. Ignore him. He just, he's a very angry old man. That's my son. Ignore him. Yeah. <laughs> well, he walked out halfway through in his underwear. He's like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you violated the law. <laughs> you the filthy prank, like, it's time to stop. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, but we'll keep it down. I'm telling my fucking 11 year old son, we'll keep sorry. it down. We'll keep yeah. it down. <laughs> like, I think these roles are reversed. Like, what the fuck? He walks back in his room. That's how you know you've never grown up. <laughs> I know. I'm like, ah, uh, we're the fucked I up get ones. It. I get it. Makes sense. God damn it. Okay, Batty. Is it time? Can I talk about it? Yes. Okay, new I like you're sitting here waiting. I'm to so talk. excited to talk about this game because it is the stupidest fucking fun game I've ever played. And that's the unsubscribe button. <laughs> 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 Thank you for watching. Batty, do you have anything to pimp as the guest? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to leave. <laughs> I'll see myself. Out <laughs> We're gonna burn that chair. <laughs> it's so weird we can't have anyone guest on the podcast. We don't have another chair. It just hard cuts and burns us on fire. <laughs> 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 It's a red dragon. The, yeah, yeah, exactly. the chair going down, the, going down the hill on fire. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, oh my god. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, a new game j j just came out on Switch, Steam, Xbox, play all the shit. It's called Cult of the Lamb. What? Okay, okay hold on. That's you play it? I played it. You played it. It's pretty fun. It's so much fun. Okay, so Cult of the Lamb. You're basically, uh, you're a little lamb. Like it looks like fucking, kind of somewhere between Castle Crashers, Binding of Isaac. Is expert mode when you're in Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> Same vibes. Okay. And Same vibes. <laughs> yeah, it's got like a real cartoony look to it, but it's, it is it's so cute. It's so cute <laughs> until you start sacrificing all your followers. You you basically are a lamb, which you know, a sacrificial Ugh. lamb. You're the lamb, and you start a cult, and you run a uh, cult. Reversing no. Wait, what? It, it's fun, dude. I, it, it is. It's easy and it's addicting <clears throat> as hell. It's like it's, again, Animal Crossing. Binding of Isaac's blood gore, whatever. As you sacrifice your little minions, or they starve to death, you can you, you just you just run a cult. You go on little crusades as a lamb with like a little deity god sword, and you just murder shit, collect their bones and like wood and stone, and then you go back and you build up your cult. Yeah, you have like a colony, and that's your home base. But then you go on your little missions to bring stuff back and get more followers. And so, like playing Civilization meets. Waco meets Animal Crossing. No guns, but yeah. 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 It's a Waco type situation. Very. <laughs> and like you can choose like as you're leveling up, you get to choose like how your cult is run. Like they can eat, you can make them eat grass and they're happy because you told them to. Or you can make them eat shit. Literal shit. Yeah, poo. Yep. And some of them will come to you and be like, cult leader, I have a deep dark fantasy where I'd... I'd love to eat shit. Can you can you make this happen? And you're like, yeah, I'll make you a Done. shit bowl. And then you just hand him a bowl of shit, and he just eats it, and usually vomits and shits himself. Uh, but then he's Turns like, out thanks. Who is not sanitary? Yeah, no. And uh, you can upgrade like you can make your color your followers happy if you sacrifice people, or if somebody die. Like I have my cult right now, all about sacrificing people because fuck it. When people become old. 
if they die of old age, everyone gets really mad. So when they become old, I... the game. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> really? So I'm like, any old person might call me, it's like, it's your time. We walk to our little church, we light them on fire, and we dance in a circle. It's and fun. they're happy? And they're happy. So they're thrilled. Midsummer. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, this is like, a, what, what's that? Wicker Man. It's like Midsummer. Have you watched Midsummer? No, Somber. I was told it was kind of like Somber. 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 I was told it was kind of like weird, like woke kind of. I don't I think, think it's woke. I don't think really? so. It's just the director is fucked in his head. Yeah, because then yeah, like the, I know that studio. It's a twenty four, right? Yeah, it's the guy. He's, that's his second movie. That's his second movie ever. Was Midsummer. Somber. Somber. The Vich was his first one. Because uh, they had a new one. That oh, that was, that was his first movie. I thought the the witch was his first. No, one. the, the witch movie. is the third. The first one is Hereditary. God, Hereditary. Oh my god, I haven't dude. seen that yet. Okay. I Holy to watch shit! It I, <laughs> Do you want to watch it together? I, oh my I god, we need to. I would. Oh, dude, bro, I, would. I thought about that movie for like two weeks after. I couldn't sleep that night. I was thinking about that movie. <laughs> that is his first movie, like, and damn, that's dude. how he goes out the. Gr- he goes out the gate so, with Midsummer, yeah. or I mean Hereditary. So I Hereditary. To watch yeah. it, and now I'm recently single, and I'm like not gonna fucking do that. No, wait. No, watch it with a with watch it with a female. Oh. Oh, yeah, there we oh, go. There you go. That's easy. No, I, I'm just like, I'm, I, I, I've like queued that up on my Amazon Prime, and I'm like, nah. <laughs> not gonna fucking do that. How not to get laid. Watch Hereditary. <laughs> yeah, I guess that wouldn't be the best one. S- slasher film, I mean, yeah. Hereditary, you won't be maybe not. Yeah. That's true. You don't sleep. What is this one, Batty? Yours. Give me a purple one. No. Ooh, that was smooth. So Colt, this? Colt, Ooh, this one. Cult, Cult, wait. Cult of the Lamb, fucking good game. I've been playing it too. John's obsessed with it. He's playing the shit out of it. It is unbelievably fun, and it's it, you, it's got like four, like five difficulties or some shit. So you can play it on easy mode and just have fun murdering your little followers, or uh, you can make it super hard. Oh shit! The best part about it is if you stream it. Um, there's an integration on Twitch where when you stream the game, anytime you get a new follower, you can roll it as one of the viewers in your chat. Oh, dope. So you get chat interaction. So you literally, it'll put like a little Twitch icon on their name above them, and then you can murder them and it's your viewers. Oh, so it's kind of like drops in Tarkov or whatever, like that Same. kind of integration. Yeah. That's amazing. The, the viewer doesn't get anything except they get to design the little follower because there's little d- different designs for your cultists. Like they're little cute little woodland critters and shit. They're like, I'm going to be a purple deer. And then you just Dead. sacrifice the purple deer. Literally, bro, like as you're playing the game and you're fighting enemies, you'll come up against a bad boss and he's got his little followers and he's like, I need power. And his little followers start stabbing themselves in the stomach and they sacrifice themselves to the bad guy. It's like, oh, okay. Like that actually happens. This is dope as fuck. This game is this new Jonestown VR is wild. (laughs) Dude. And I'm only like, I'm not even halfway through the game. There's so much. It's so I fun. I don't want to drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Too bad. Bro, uh, it, when you can have people who like, if your your faith isn't good enough, your followers will start dissenting. You can lock them in jail. And then your other little followers will walk around them and laugh at them and mock them for being locked up. So it's Midsummer. Maybe. I haven't seen it. So, so Midsummer. Uh, spoiler alert. It is with the old people. That's why you brought that up is the old people is like, OK, you reached that age. What do the old people do? What do you guess the so old people do? His people. They eat them. No, they walk up to a fucking cliff edge, jump off and hope to hit this rock edge. And this is the first 10 minutes of the fucking movie. They just like, yeah. what? You remember how it starts, though, too? Oh, fucking hard. Do I have to watch Midsummer? Yeah, don't, yes. don't tell you how it starts, yeah. but it starts pretty hard, too. So they just fucking, woo, and then yeet off to hope to hit this fucking rock. The first two misses, so they walk up with a giant fucking hammer, a rock, and they... <laughs> just I saw that. I saw, I saw yeah. somebody break out of the movie. I didn't... I think it was a critical drinker. Like I saw his breakdown of the movie. Yeah. I saw. Dude, I fucking love that dude. He's awesome. Yes, it's so good. And it's like, those movie break... I love those individuals. So, uh, actually, on Reddit, there was a post about YouTubers that are no longer around. That there's channels that just died, and yeah. uh, be, every it's like beautiful frames of filming. One of my favorite. Fi- I'll kick it to you. It's one of the best channels, and all his views, which is crazy, is like the least viewed is like four to five mil. Jesus, he just quit after three years ago. Huh. Blame him necessarily. That's like the Salmonella Academy. He quit after. Like two years, and his videos are so fucking good. If you guys have never seen Salmonella, it's like sounds like the condition, the dis- yeah. yeah. But it's S A M Onella Academy, and he does these like janky cartoons. Have you ever watched him before? No. Never heard of it, dude. His his videos are so good, but he just quit two years ago. Just fucking randomly quit, and he was Damn. getting like seven million views a video. And that's what is crazy. That Reddit today was just like YouTubers that 
what's your favorite old channel that doesn't do anything anymore? It was the weirdest thing reading Freddie Wong. I was like, Ooh. that's my buddy. <laughs> and they're like, Aww. he just does it. It's like three years ago was the last post and then I didn't nothing. I it's been that long. Yeah. Why did they stop? It's just Freddie is just like, eh. Busy doing like, I guess, real shit that he wants to do. I yeah, guess. that's Fair. what Freddie and then uh, his podcast, Dungeons yeah, and Daddies, is doing still really good. blowing up. Yeah, absolutely. So they're like, yeah, I just focus on this. But that was, it's like reading those channels and those old ones, like every, uh, every frame of movies or something like that. So fucking good. It's where you get a lot of knowledge. Or I got a lot of knowledge because how he breaks down film mm -hmm. and everything. Directors. but you, you learn a lot from guys like that. They're, they're like I, <clears throat> It's kind of weird. Like just because we, we all kind of do video, media, whatever. But like just like listening to breakdowns of other people. Like, well, this is why this didn't work. Because they did this with the story instead of that or whatever. And this would have been better. And I'm like, oh, fuck, you're right. Dude, I'll have to send you his videos. Because you when you watch how he breaks down everything, you're going to be like, Holy, holy shit, this dude is fucking talented. Sorry, we're all distracted by distracted. a cat. No, right? we're playing, no, we're playing fetch with it over here. Like, it's bringing us this little thing. We're throwing it. Oh, my God, it yeah. He literally, I do this he, for hours. You have a, he, or he brings it back. Yeah, every time. It's a fetch kitty? My cat plays fetch. Yeah, he he, he keeps butt. bringing it back. That's what I've been sitting over here doing. You just eat it, and he'll chase it, and he'll bring it back. That's all he does. I do this for hours with this cat. I'll just sit on my fucking bed and throw it down my hallway, and he's like... Pff. You got yeah. a fetch kitty? Yeah. <laughs> Even that worse, sounds if you, like an urban dictionary. <laughs> What's a fetch, a fetch kitty? kitty? Yeah. If you don't, everyone's play looking. Fetch, for... Like if you start, like this right, is the problem. comments right now. Engagement question: What the fuck should an, a fetch kitty be? Oh no! You put that in your Tinder profile, looking for a fetch kitty. <laughs> I'm doing that right now. <laughs> I'm looking for a fetch kitty. <laughs> Dude, because, well, seriously, unironically, that's a be. good fucking idea because they're going to ask, like, what the fuck is a fetch kitty? I'm going to Urban Dictionary right now. Fetch kitty. I don't know. It's going to be a shirt like next. <laughs> sounds like a shirt. That sounds it's like a shirt right now. The unsub liver punch. <laughs> <laughs> Are you lonely? <laughs> no such thing as a fetch kitty. We got to make it. Yep. No shit. Just like punch her in the liver. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't. Well. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> punch. Nah. Them oh, in the liver. Heart, you know. <laughs> Not a fan of that. Punch them. No. Nope. Punch um in the liver. Punch them. Punch them in the punch liver. Punch them in the liver. She might want to hit you. As no, a matter of fact, I'm sure she does. <laughs> <laughs> we can combine the terms, like, because we are talking about a cat, like, punch him in the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> punch him in the pussy. Punch him in the liver. I want to hit my cat. I love him. Pep, you're the best. Uh, Pep? That's his name? Sir Pet Butt. It's from, from after uh, Peppermint Butler, yeah, the Adventure most evil time. thing in the universe. Oh, gotcha. I was so confused for a I'm second. Glad you know, you know that. Oh, I know my Adventure Time. Oh, lore. I love. That was I, when John was a little guy. We would watch every single episode of Adventure Time. I want to get a uh, a lich tattoo. Oh it, yeah, it went really fucking hard. I, I haven't. I've never. It's watched real show, shit. Dude, it's terrible. It's crazy. It gets sad too. It's so sad. Does it? Adventure Time? Oh my god. I can honestly say I've never watched that American anime before. It's Only so two episodes, three episodes. It's like the first season's kind of like, eh. Yeah, like happy, that. fun time. And then they start getting into the lore of the characters and like what happened. Because they, they talk about the mushroom wars in it. And this is a, and you don't realize it's a post-apocalyptic wasteland with mutants. Fuck yes. And it, it gets, yeah, it gets, it gets kind of fucked up in some parts. These are my favorite he, he, stories. He wheezes when you don't throw his toy enough. Yeah, he just wheezed at me. I heard. <laughs> That's what he can't meow. He just he goes. <laughs> That's really cool. You, you, it's too far. I can't. He can't meow. No, he goes. <laughs> That's he doesn't meow. So why? Him down. Never. <laughs> why can't he meow? Oh, well, if I know, he just meows like an idiot. <laughs> he does. He just. I. I. I didn't know if that was him or not. That was weird. <laughs> Your cat's autistic. I literally heard that before <laughs> as I was like coming up for breath from a laugh and I'm like, did I just make that? <laughs> <laughs> That's Pat. He's okay. What a cute little kitty. That cat, Ryan's like, where are some of the black cat? <laughs> I already know Ryan's thought process. I know Dumpy's probably sitting on his lap right now like, where are the chicken nuggets? Yeah, and Ryan Give did. me your chicken. Were you? No, you were here. Oh, my God. Dryden was on the couch eating chicken nuggets, and my other cat, Dumpy, ran up to him and just started stealing his food. Well, He's like, ooh. No, first, Ryden, <laughs> first, Ryden walked in here with the nuggets. The, the, empty, the empty box. And I was like. Impressioned. Yeah, well, I mean, it's spot on. Because Ryden <laughs> walked in here, and I was like, why the fuck's Ryden in here showing me his fucking empty chicken nugget box? And he was like, 
I ate their chicken nuggets, Daddy. And I was like, dope. And he like walked over here. I was like, just put it there. He's like, no, I ate the chicken nuggets. I was like, yeah, you ate them all. He's like, no, I ate eight chicken nuggets. I was like, where'd the other two go? The cat took them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on, bro. And he's like standing right here like, why the fuck did cat take my goddamn chicken nuggets, dad? I was like, what happened? You ate eight chicken nuggets and the cat took two? He's like, yeah, the orange cat took them. I was like, you fed the cat chicken nuggets? Like, Look, I'm like, dad busy. Go handle it. Like, okay, dad. He pulls out a knife. He's like, oh. But that's what we're talking about. My cat bullied an autistic child. <laughs> That's so fucked up, man. <laughs> and then what we thought, like, one of the cats had a nugget on his yeah, paw. Cause cat came in and he was over there shaking his paw because his toy that he plays fetches was stuck to his claw. But it, it looks like a chicken, chicken nugget. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. Well, it's like he didn't just You'll never get this. You'll never get this. He didn't bully him once. So he had, because he, he can't carry back. two. He, he, he got one and left. Because <laughs> then went back and got another one. I know Rhino was like, <laughs> like the cat took it and he was just like, oh. What happened? And then Dubby's like, Oh, that was I, easy. <laughs> I can fuck this kid up. <laughs> the kid was like, Yeah, yeah. And just ran off with another nuggie. <laughs> you, you, you come back like three episodes from now, like Ryden's holding her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> My cat bullies kids. <laughs> like, Ryan just wants to like be happy and pet the cat, and Dubby's in there like, Fuck you. Yeah. What the fuck you say to me? Fuck yeah. you. Cat Are you looking made, at me? Fuck you. Your cat just made my son your, your prison bitch. Like, just hit your cat. I tried to throw it and I slapped him in the face. Oh, my bad. Okay. That's what we're going to start the episode with, Fluck. I just hate your cat. I slapped him in the face. <laughs> Cody. God. taking your shit. I was just playing with you. This is great. I've never seen this. This I love my cat. Cats. He, no, he's doing it. hours, and he gets pissed off if you stop. Cody's vlogging in the middle of a goddamn. <laughs> you know I know. How often do you see Peppermint Butler playing fetch? Uh, Dude, I just that exact <laughs> phrase never. <laughs> However, how how often do you say Peppermint Butler playing fetch, good sir? This is why we don't have three man moses before a goddamn. <laughs> That's my fault. <laughs> This is a good one. This is a good podcast. <laughs> it felt good. It felt good. It, felt good. it was mostly good. There were some not good let's parts. Let's do this. Let's, let's do, do video games. Let's, let's bring the Burger King hat out. Let's see what gets banned versus what doesn't get banned. Let's talk about video games just a smidge. Cody, Tiny what? Bit. You stole a frog. <laughs> Yeah, is that the, is that, that's you the kidnapped a frog. Kidnapped. You know, I like fighting way too much. Cody stole a frog. Brandon's got a crown on, and I like games sometimes. It's, uh, yeah. You like cults. Cults. Yeah. What do your people do to appease their god, Batty? Well, they pray to me first, and then I sacrifice them. Okay. Just, that sounds like your Twitch stream. So like. Same thing. <laughs> and then we're all shitty to our Twitch stream. They give me money, and then I shit on them. <laughs> Welcome to friendship. <laughs> what is up, you sexy parasocial mother lovers? <laughs> oh my god, that ain't the fucking truth. Sacrifice for me. I am your god, Burger King. Yeah, I can't believe I had a hat on for that line. <laughs> that definitely yeah. won't be used on the subreddit. <laughs> definitely not. By the way, I Spooky, see. you beautiful son of a bitch, the... Fucking Bill oh, the killed artist. Bill. Yeah, 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 I didn't know his name. Holy shit. Of Batty with cum chucks. This man drew me straight up in Kill Bill beautiful art style on like a on a card, like a, a king. And I'm holding cum chucks. That was honestly fantastic. It That's was really good. This is my legacy. <laughs> okay, here's the question. Come on, dude. You did you, it was you so knew good. this was coming. I, I mean, uh, yeah. uh, this is the question at the end of the podcast, an hour and perfect time for engagement. Uh, <laughs> who is the ace, the jack, the spade, and the king in this the spade? group? That's racist, Eli. The, 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 the ace? jack, the queen, the king, and the ace. There we go. Got the verbiage right. <laughs> You're the queen, dude. You're the <laughs> <really> queen. <laughs> <laughs> You're the. I mean. <laughs> I mean, Brandon's got to be the Jack, and you're probably the Ace. I, I either want to be the A or the K, so you can like kind of shittily spray paint like one or the other after it. Ooh, like, Batty, you're the, the King. 
Like that whole thing. Oh, there we go. Because if we have the spade, or, or we could just do Stop keen. calling me a spade. <laughs> You're a fucking <laughs> It's a suit, Believe not a goddamn car. <laughs> Believe that one. I just feel yeah. like we can't. Okay. Okay, okay can't the red card's over here. <laughs> all I'm going to say, if we're all kings, it, Brandon's got to be included because three kings. Okay, on the side of the red cards. That's, what is three kings? It's a K. We can't do that. <laughs> I mean, oh, that we can't nope. be. Nope. That hat's all yours, buddy. Nope. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> the three putting kings the and the Joker. Nope. Putting that veto. 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 You wouldn't get it. <laughs> Thank you for watching the subscribe podcast. As always, we have Donut Operator Eli Double Fab and our beautiful baby boy Brandon Barbera. Fuck off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, we didn't even announce. Batty, do an announcement for the Patreon. We did on this it last episode. But let's do it one more time because it's actually going uh, live. Uh, don't worry about it. What we'll do is we'll do a new intro because we haven't done our intro in a minute. The one where we're like, hey, guys, like, subscribe, go through the things. We'll include a Patreon and merch in that so we can update. I hate it. <sighs>